Well, we all know, if we watch the movie, Wolf of Wall Street, the story of Jordan Belford and the fortune he made in penny stocks. Well, it turns out there's a new wolf of Wall Street in town, though he's never worked on Wall Street. Josh Sassone is 27 years old, invested $200 million in penny stocks himself. And Penny Betts, Bloomberg's Zeke Fox, joins me now. Uh, great article, uh, Zeke, uh, in uh, Bloomberg Business Week on this. So what do we know about this 27-year-old millionaire who was, what, six years ago living with his parents in Long Island? Yes, he was in a band hoping to be a rock star when he learned this one weird legal trick that lets you make huge returns on penny stocks, which are usually a horrible investment. Right. And the way that it works is he, instead of just buying the stock, loans companies money and then gets in return millions or even billions of shares at a big discount to the market price. Mm. You mean so the loans convert into stock then? Yes. At a huge discounted price. So what happens if those companies go bankrupt or they go to zero? What happens then? It doesn't matter how low the companies go as long as there's a market for the shares. If the stock goes to a penny, he gets it for, say, half a penny. If it goes to a thousandth of a penny, he gets it for half a thousandth of a penny. So he can always make money unless the market totally dries up. Right, right, exactly. Then he, then he's out of luck. So tell me a little bit about this guy. I mean, as I mentioned, so six years ago, he was living with his parents uh, it, uh, on Long Island. What, what is he like now? I mean, you know, just how does he spend his money? Where is he investing? He's sort of like a mini Richard Branson. He's producing a movie with Martin Scorsese called Bleed for This, starring Miles Teller. It's a boxing biopic. Okay. Then he's in London. He's mixing an album by this Israeli model he signed to his record label. He's got a sort of Kickstarter that helps bands sell albums ahead of time. He's got a receptionist company. He's doing all sorts of different things. He's really diversified away from this penny stock thing, which is where he made his fortune. So he doesn't, does he like those comparisons to Jordan Belfort? He actually doesn't like that. No, and I think that's a little mean. Belfort would actually you know, the basis for the Wolf of Wall Street, he's calling old people and tricking them into buying worthless stocks and basically stealing their money. So Sona has come up with this legal trick to finance desperate penny stock companies that enables him to make big profits, but doesn't actually involve going out and tricking retirees. Right, mom and pops, right, yeah. exactly, and, 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 and manipulating them. Okay, so uh, if this is something that is very lucrative and it's legal, so why doesn't every hedge fund do this then? Well, there's a limit to how much you can scale it up because these are tiny companies. So he's doing these investments uh, generally 100000 or a million at a time. The other thing is that it is pretty sketchy. A lot of the companies that do what Sassone has done have gotten sued by the SEC. Uh, one guy who did it actually got arrested by the FBI because they took shortcuts. There's a way to do it legally, but... There's it's a, easy to maybe get into get into some legal trouble doing yeah, it. Yeah, it's a pretty gray area, and it's hard to know exactly what's right and what's wrong. So most people don't want to go there. And also, maybe they never knew that there was such big money to be made. <laughs> All right, exactly. All right. Zeke, thank you so much on that. Uh, on Josh Sasson, Bloomberg's Zeke Fox.